Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're breaking down one of the most iconic moments in football, Cristiano Ronaldo's incredible high jump. We're going to dive into the science behind that gravity-defying leap, and trust me, it's not just about being naturally gifted. There's some real biomechanics magic going on here. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk about how Ronaldo even gets off the ground. When we see him bend his knees before the jump, he's basically storing energy. Think of it like a spring being compressed. He's engaging his quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes to generate power. These big muscles are the key to that explosive takeoff. But here's the science. When he extends his knees and hips, he's unleashing that stored energy, and that's what pushes him up into the air. Now, let's talk about the push-off. Ronaldo's calf muscles play a huge role here. He uses his ankle to explode off the ground. That's called plantar flexion, or essentially, pointing your toes downward like a ballerina. It helps him maximize his upward force. Once Ronaldo's in the air, it's all about maintaining that height and control. His body follows a parabolic trajectory, basically, a curve like any object you throw. He's fighting gravity, and as his upward speed decreases, gravity starts pulling him down. But here's where Ronaldo's body control comes into play. While he's up there, he keeps his posture tight. His core stays engaged. Without a strong core, he'd flop around like a ragdoll. But Ronaldo's abs and lower back muscles keep everything stable. See how he adjusts his arms and legs? This isn't random. His upper body works with his lower body to keep him balanced and aligned for the perfect landing. So what's really behind all this? Power. Ronaldo has a super high power to weight ratio, meaning he's got a ton of muscle mass and strength without carrying extra weight. This lets him generate more force for a higher jump. When it comes to jumping, the more force you can apply to the ground, the higher you can jump. And how does Ronaldo generate that force? By recruiting fast twitch muscle fibers, the muscles designed for quick, explosive movements. These fast twitch fibers let him jump higher, but they also help him sprint faster. The same power you see on the pitch comes from these muscles working in sync. Now, none of this would be possible without elite technique. Sure, anyone can jump high, but the way Ronaldo does it? That's the result of years of dedicated training. Plyometrics, explosive movements, and strengthening exercises like box jumps, squat jumps, and even weight training. These are all a part of Ronaldo's secret sauce. These drills train the body to react faster and generate more force in less time. He's also super efficient with his technique. He knows exactly when to plant his foot for maximum push-off. Small details, but they make a huge difference in a high-level athlete's performance. Once he's in the air, Ronaldo's body enters that flight phase. He's no longer pushing off. Now it's all about controlling his descent. But here's the thing. Just like you need to know how to jump, you also need to know how to land safely. Ronaldo's landing is a mix of skill and timing. When his feet hit the ground, he uses knee flexion to absorb the impact. His legs bend slightly to cushion the shock, and that's key for preventing injuries. Without this controlled landing, he could risk injury. But because of his technique and strength, he makes it look easy. So, what makes Ronaldo's jump so impressive? It's a combination of power, technique, and biomechanics. From his explosive takeoff to his perfect posture in the air and controlled landing, everything works together to create that unbelievable leap. It's not magic, it's elite sports science in action. Next time you see him soaring through the air, you'll know exactly how it's done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and let me know in the comments. Which other athletes' moves do you want us to break down next? See you in the next video?